Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, King Voice Productions. And as you can see, I'm here finally with Mafia 3. I'm going to play on easy. I'm going to play on easy because, you know, it's my first time playing the game, obviously. And I want to make it enjoyable for myself. I always play on easy. Oh, this city looks pretty sweet. Sixty-eight. Okay, well that makes sense too. I, I like how they actually put that, so they're not like, man, e are they like two Ks racist? It's kind of funny. Modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. Think I did. Was willing to do. Oh, man, these graphics are really good. And enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had heck no is this? idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family oriented for Yeah, this is like a fun place. Next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Is it that's that's Lincoln Clay? Uh, my guy's Lincoln Clay, I think. So I'm going after the mob. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. I tell back then, if you look black, you black. Famous today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Dang. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He was a quiet boy. Good boy. <laughs> Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Wait, this is, he said 68 is when this take place? I think? I don't even know. Looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. What war was this? And he needed that he was in. Because I know World War II was in like so 41. Shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Oh, do I get to play now? Oh, Mardi Gras. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. 
using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts, Vito Skeletta? We're gonna haul out of there. Hey. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. They already made a reference to a man, Vito. Keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Oh, wrong button. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He even greased his partner to make it look good. If you got doubts, I'll take the chance. No, no, no. Put his body down. You gotta like hold the button to do everything. That kind of sucks. Should I shoot him in the leg now? How do I run? Let's take cover. You got the keys, so you can drive. No. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm always driving. How the hell do I get in? Okay, X to get in the car. Oh my gosh. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? 5%? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. Okay, so I don't know where the hell. I honestly don't know what the hell's, what the hell's going on. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam. Oh, Vietnam. That was the war. Okay. Use him to get everybody's attention, then you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. I like how you get the and rear view mirror. I've never seen that in a game ship. before. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a Yeah, I've never seen I've never she seen a game that actually has like a rear view mirror for you to see. You can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, <laughs> God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. Damn, I'm going 90 in this truck. Holy shit. Cops are really gonna pull me over if they see me. Over 90. Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. At that piece of yours. Watch out, man. Hey. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Right out here. Okay, really? I had to move forward like two feet. Back it up to the loading dock. Thank you, guy. 
Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language, and well, I ain't like I never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. How much money are we talking here? I don't like holding the button to do stuff. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. This door? Oh. Where Sorry. Going, Lincoln? Sorry, man. Shut the fuck up. Right, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Hey, watch your mouth, motherfucker. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. <laughs> I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. And all these guys are racist. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. Can we just go, guy. Do you have to walk any slower? Thanks. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Yeah, I was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. Yeah, my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. That old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. Are you going to open the door or are we just going to stand here? Don't be racist to me or I'll have to slap you. I'll hit you with this goddamn bag. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, you're so... <laughs> Fuck you! Christ. Ah, uh -huh, you're so funny, guy. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Yeah, we are. What kind of what kind of money bags are these though? I just thought about this. Put those bags on the table there. Okay, gotcha. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. <laughs> Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. <laughs> now. Give me a second. <clears throat> come on, guy. Right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Watch out! We've been renting out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how we're supposed to find a new place in two weeks. Found him! Get off of this! Damn it! Oh. Shut your mouth, guy. Okay. Lincoln, get over here, man. Let's punch. 
What, man? I'm here, you see me? Okay. That guy caught me. Oh, I hope this domination skeleto guy is legit. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Why is my nickname Godzilla? Just imagine if it was that easy nowadays. Holy fucking shit! It's beautiful. Huh. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <laughs> Once these boys punch through that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. What? Damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't know this cage was on a different system. Alright, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. Come on, pinhead. Damn it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of bullets. No, how do I how do I reload? Shoot. Come on. X reload. Who says that? Collecting. Okay, that's how you sprint. Cool. God damn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Come on, just open the door. Yeah, let me do this. You're weak. Give me the bar. Watch out. Oh, look at that gun in there. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's in the green zone? Okay, I got it. Got it. What? Oh, yeah, what up? Grabbing this bad boy, too. Oh, okay, so right now you can only have two guns. Okay. Is there health kits in here? Hold on. Sweet. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Hey, look at this gun I have. Oh, 
Well, Sammy had men all over the They place. already get them? <laughs> that was easy. Cleaners and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob.